There are five million Americans with Alzheimer's disease today, and this number is going to double over the next several decades. My name is Paul Lombroso, and I'm a professor here at Yale University. We're sitting here in my lab, Laboratory of Molecular Neuroscience, and I want to tell you over the next several minutes some exciting discoveries that we've made in the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. The story starts about 20 years ago when I discovered a protein called STEP. STEP is elevated in humans with Alzheimer's and in mouse models of Alzheimer's disease. And that's bad. And the reason it's bad is that it prevents the formation of new memories. In the brain, connections between neurons are called synapses. And these have to be strengthened to convert short-term memories into long-term memories. When an electrical signal arrives at a synapse, neurotransmitters are released. They diffuse across the synapse and bind to glutamate receptors on the postsynaptic membrane. The activated receptor opens up, allowing ions to quickly pass through and pass the signal on to the next neuron. Receptors normally move up to the membrane and are removed from the membrane by the actions of a number of proteins. One of these proteins is STEP. Its actions on the receptor lead to the rapid removal of the receptors from the membrane. When STEP levels are elevated, there is a significant removal of these receptors from the synaptic site. The signal between neurons is broken and the formation of new memories cannot happen. We started to look for inhibitors of STEP, small molecules that could block the activity of STEP. We have one of these in the lab now, and when we give it to mice that have Alzheimer's disease, we're able to reverse the cognitive deficits of these mice. The drug that we discovered blocks the activity of STEP by binding to the active site and prevents STEP from removing glutamate receptors from synapses. The receptors that were removed are now able to return to the synapse and are able once again to strengthen the connection between the neurons. And new memories can be formed. So how do you test whether a mouse is forming new memories? One of the many cognitive tests that we can run is called the Morris Water Maze, where we test the ability of a mouse to learn its way around a new environment. This is relevant to Alzheimer's disease because one of the more distressing symptoms of the illness is when a person with Alzheimer's disease goes out outside of their home and gets disoriented and lost. In the Morris water maze, a hidden platform is placed just below the surface of water in a circular pool. One places a mouse in a pool for several days of training and very quickly, a normal mouse will learn where the hidden platform is located. But a mouse with Alzheimer's disease will not learn where the new platform is. When we give our STEP inhibitor to these Alzheimer mice several hours before each learning session, then the Alzheimer mice learn just as well as the wild type mice and swim directly to the platform. This was a very exciting discovery because what it suggested was that a small molecule that inhibits STEP's activity might prove valuable in the treatment of this devastating illness. I'm asking for your support to help move this research on Alzheimer's disease forward. First, we need to discover new drugs that inhibit STEPS activity based on the one that we have in the lab. Second, we need to try to make this drug available orally. Third, we want to try these drugs on other types of animals. These three goals are completely doable, but only with your help. Your support will bring us closer to our goal of discovering a new drug for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease and bring that drug into clinical trials. Please visit my website where there will be periodic updates on the progress that we're making. Thank you very much.